We are still here at Embedded World 2023 and we are at the Goliath stand. Now, for those of us who have not heard of Goliath before, what is Goliath? How would you describe it? Yeah, so I describe it as a device management cloud, but it might be easier to understand if I say it's your instant cloud for IoT. Okay. IoT is going to be devices, think of sensors that are connected to the internet, sending that data back. But the thing is, companies have to solve the same problem over and over again. Yeah. They need a way to update those devices. They need a way to uh, record the data that's coming back to them, make sure that they're secure, and control them remotely. We've done all of that for companies so that they can focus on the innovation part of their designs. Sure. And so, um, so yeah, very much like uh, when it comes to uh, web development and all that kind of stuff, you could do it all absolutely from scratch every time whenever you do a site, or you could start using uh, things that have been designed by people who really know what they're doing. Yes. And uh, it yeah, cuts out a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the back and forth. And, I get, and so I, I guess that fits nicely into the hardware that you have here on the stand. So um, is, is this all uh, sort of like IoT connected hardware that's using Goliath? Yeah, that's exactly right. So everything that we're showing here is actually connecting through the cellular network, but our platform works really great with devices that are cellular, that are Wi-Fi, that are using Ethernet, or using something called Thread, which is a new technology that is uh, related to matter, if, you're, if your viewers have watched that. And uh, so one of the uh, devices that we've had a lot of customers asking for are power monitoring. Yeah. So if you have, at your house and you're wondering like how much does it cost to run my refrigerator yeah. you have no idea right but if you have a power monitor for that you can put a current clamp around one of the lines in your breaker box and that'll tell you when it's on how much power it's using and everything we're demonstrating that here today but with dc power think about like a rack of electric bicycles when they're charging you can tell a lot by how they charge like whether that battery is in good health or poor health how far that bike was driven before yeah. it was recharged this sort of thing um, in our case, we have like this fan right here being uh, mapped out. If I actually grab this fan and stop it, yeah. we'll see in just a couple of seconds, the graph will spike in power. Yeah. And so you could actually send an alarm and say, hey, the machine that you're monitoring, something's not right. It's not yeah. running quite right. Yeah, so you can see, yeah. yeah, you can see the spike right there. Uh, this is actually not our platform. This is a visualization platform called Grafana. Okay. But what it's doing is it's calling the REST API on the Goliath cloud because yeah. the, the data from all your devices is going to be instantly available from Goliath. Yeah. And things that web developers are used to doing, used to interacting with data, yeah, yeah. it's all available through Goliath yeah, right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. So this idea of like someone needs to create the hardware and then you need to figure out how to get it to the cloud and then figure out how to do something with it, yeah. we've taken care of that glue in the middle so that um, the people that are good at building hardware can build it and get the data out easily. The people that are good at visualizing, analyzing, manipulating data, put it on, putting it on apps, it's already there for them. Absolutely, and, um, and one of the things uh, here, we're actually here at the Zephyr booth today. And what is the link between Zephyr OS and uh, Goliath? So Zephyr is one of the SDKs that we support and we like it because it um, allows you to go back and forth between different types of hardware. So we've all heard about uh, the chip shortage and having problems with supply. Yeah. Zephyr allows you to use the exact same C code, all the code that's running on your device, but switch out and say, okay, I'm using a cellular modem today. Tomorrow I want to use a Wi-Fi modem or I want to use Ethernet. Yeah. Your C code stays the same. Zephyr takes care of this abstraction on the hardware. And so we love Zephyr for that. We have a ton of customers who have been able to take reference designs like this one. This was built for AC power monitoring. Yeah. Through the magic of Zephyr, we were able to switch out the type of chip that was actually doing the measurement to DC yeah. and largely leave the rest of the code unchanged. Okay, okay that's awesome. And, um, and if people want to get started using Goliath today, um, how, how do they find you? How do they start using the service? Yeah, so Goliath.io is our website. You definitely should go there and check us out. Um, we have a free dev tier, which lets you uh, get up to 50 devices running on uh, your fleet free of charge. Um, there is a learning curve to Zephyr. Uh, we think it's totally worth that learning curve. You should try it out, just know going into it that, um, that that's there. And to really help our customers with that, we have um, started free Zephyr trainings. We've done a ton of them over last year. We have more planned for this year. If you go to Goliath.io forward slash EW for Embedded World 23. You can get more information on that and sign up for that training. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. And of course, there will be links to Goliath and the training that we just talked about in the description of this video, also in our blog post. Thank you so much for giving me your time today. Enjoy the rest of your conference. Thanks. I've had a lot of fun. I appreciate you coming by. Cheers.